The plot thickens on this matter of this uh, Saudi journalist. What happened to him? But what I'm saying, I'll say it now, and I'll say it over and over again, we've got to cool the rhetoric. And what the president is trying to do is to give the Saudis an out and calls for sanctions and calls for punitive action against the Saudis is, is ill-advised. Why? because our main enemy in the Middle East is Iran. They are the fomenters of terrorism, up, up, and they're killing a lot of people. And then we've got Assad in Syria, who's killing many, many, many thousands of people and causing millions of refugees. You've got one journalist who, who knows? Was it interrogation? Was he assassinated? Were there rogue elements? Who did it? Well, the Secretary of State, Monk, Mike Pompeo, is in Saudi Arabia today seeking answers from the Saudi royal family over that missing journalist, and allegedly uh, who was killed by, they think, Saudi operatives, but they don't know for sure. And Wendy, I just don't think you've got $100 billion worth of arms sales, which is, you know, that's one of those things. But more than that, we've got to have some Arab allies. We have to have it. We cannot alienate our biggest player in the Middle East who's a bulwark against Iran. But can we have somebody that's killing journalists that are U.S. residents is the well, question. You know? you know, we've had so many people killed. I mean, we had CIA people killed in Lebanon. The people have been taken hostage over the years. I know it's bad, but I mean, we've had all kinds of stuff. But you don't blow up an international alliance over one person. I mean, I'm sorry.